Hello, neighbors. Joe, you can walk. How do you do? I'm Stan Smith. Please come in. Oh, I'm so glad everyone could make it. Stan, I need $50. They're selling a biopsy of Celine Dion's uterus on eBay. The hell kind of dog is that? I was going to ask the same thing. Oh, uh, that's our alien Roger. He lives in our attic, but nobody can know. And don't tell anybody about our attic. Hello? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, you're not going to believe this. I'm over here with Joe, and he's got a space alien. <laughs> Peter, wake up. You're having a nightmare. Oh, oh, Lois. Thank God, it was just a dream. Hey, Lois, what's that fat man doing in our bed? Ah, damn it. I always wake up before I find out if they can understand the baby. Thanks for helping me set up this jungle gym, guys. Lois says Stewie's been getting a little chunky. Ugh, everybody's always commenting on my weight. This is why I almost died from anorexia. You... look... fat. All right, I got the monkey bars all put together. Oh, God, look at that. They already got Al-Qaeda's all over them. <laughs> get, get out of here! Get. Man, they're gonna be so good at swinging bar to bar when they invade. Wow, Quagmire, how did you build that part so fast? It was easy. I just followed the instructions. I couldn't find the English ones. These are in Latin. And those stuffy Ivy League professors won't help me. <laughs> Nullum gratuitum prondium, eh, Peter? Oh, yeah? Why don't you catch a football, you nerds? Nerds? No, I just read the back where it's printed in French. You speak French. Sure, they love me in France. Oh, Quagmire! Shh, Quagmire! Silence, c'est Quagmire! Quagmire! Ah, Quagmire! Oh, Quagmire, don't fall near the mousetrap! Yeah, and French also comes in handy when I have layovers in Montreal. That place is the best. Oh, I always wanted to go to Canada, but then South Park went so we couldn't go. Oh, man, you guys should come with me sometime. Montreal has the best strip clubs in the world. They do? Yeah, they're unbelievable. The girls up in Canada are gorgeous, and they all play ice hockey, so they lose their teeth by age 10. Wow. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say that a Canadian strip club is the most magical place in the world. Nip, nip here, and nip, nip there, and a bevy of porno stars. There's jugs and mugs of Molson beer and Canadian nudie bars. Dirty hoes put on shows, and a lot of them don't have scars. They'll even take it up the nose in Canadian nudie bars. You can touch and squeeze them, they don't even care. Would they even dye their pubes to match my hair? Uh-huh. Color me there. Do like me, say wee oui, wee, oui, and tell them you're a friend of Bill Mars. That's how you'll get to watch them pee in Canadian nudie bars. Ha-ha-ha! 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 A guy can get his hockey pucked in Canadian nudie bars. That sounds incredible. We gotta go! Yeah, will you take us, Quagmire, please? All right, let's do it. But I don't want to get any crap from your wives about me taking you to a strip joint. So you guys are going to have to lie about where we're going. Okay, sure. Yeah, no problem. I'm a great liar. Okay, we're good this way. Is it clear in your direction? Yep. <laughs> 